Hi Freedom Family, welcome back to another episode of the KYC Nullified. Hi guys, I would like to say thank you to everyone who have shown their support in the comment section below. Today on the rule of thumb, we will be discussing not just one, but two YouTube policies. Are you ready Freedom Family? Of course you are. We will be discussing impersonation and the threat policy. So Freedom Family, let's dive into the details. So what is impersonation? Activities such as copying a user's channel layout, using a similar username, or posing as another person in comments, emails, or videos may be considered harassment. When YouTube deems that your channel goes against the policies of impersonation, your account can be removed. There are two types of impersonation. One is impersonation of a channel, and the other one is impersonation as an individual. What's the difference, you might ask? Impersonation of a channel can happen when a user copies a channel's profile, background, or text and writes comments to make it look like somebody else's channel posted the comments. If you found a channel that violate this rule, you can actually go to this website and report it. Impersonation of an individual is when a user creates a channel or video using another individual's real name, image, or other personal information to deceive people into thinking they are someone else on YouTube. If you think you're being impersonated by someone else on YouTube, you can use this link to report them. Let's hop on to the threat policy. The YouTube community is important to us and we want to see it flourish. Content that makes threats of serious physical harm against a specific individual or defined group of individuals will be removed. People who make content to threaten others can receive a strike or can have their account terminated. If you know videos like these, you can actually flag them or you can send an abuse report. Let's break it down, Freedom Family. Basically guys, impersonation is copying the contents of another channel or creating a channel or video that uses another person's real name, image, or other personal information. Explaining the threat policy is simple. When you make content that threaten a group of people or an individual of serious physical harm, then that is a big no-no to YouTube because YouTube will knock on your door and they will strike your video or in the worst case scenario, they will terminate your channel. When you find these kinds of content, you can either do two things. One is flag the video, or you can send an abuse report. That's it for this segment. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from the rule of thumb. And if you have, comment in the comment section below. I would like to hear your insights, your suggestions, violent reactions. If you have any, just comment in the comment section below. Let's head on over to the KYC Nold Edition. Our first partner is ya boy Psycho. Hey, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. Let's take a look at your channel. Hey, I can see in your channel that you love Fortnite. There's a lot of dancing involved. There's a lot of gameplay clips, which is great. Let's take a look at your videos. This video is a skin spotlight from the game Fortnite and you are using a lot of dance animations or dance sequences so that you can know the overall aesthetics of the skin. Although I would have to warn you about the video description, it's not spammy because all of these tags are related to the video, but the system might see this as a metadata abuse. You can leave two or three names of the dance sequences and you should be fine. Let's move on to another video. Okay, in this video, you are doing a good game run on Fortnite. The thumbnail looks good, the video description is clean, and also the video as well is great. Okay, I have checked your channel and it looks like the video is actually really good because it does not have any copyrighted content. Your thumbnails are related to your videos, great. Video description is also good. Aside from the comment I made in the first video, it does not seem that your channel violates any of YouTube's rules and policies. I will have to rate your channel as nullified. Our next partner is Nightcore Zodiac. Hey, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Hi Nightcore Zodiac, it seems like your channel is a compilation of Nightcore music, which is really great. I would like to throw this in. I'm a real fan of Nightcore music, so I'm really looking forward to look at your videos. Let's take a look at your videos. This video is a nightcore edition of the song Heathens by 21 Pilots. I really like it, I really like the beat, and thank you for the video. Let's move on to another video. Okay, I really love this song because this song was featured in one of League of Legends World Series. I think it was last year's World Series and yeah, thank you for the video. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit concerned about your videos because your audio tracks does not belong to you. Although this can be argued under the doctrine of fair use because these are all remix songs and turned into Nightcore editions. Also, I'm a big fan of Nightcore music so for this only occasion, I will rate your channel as 
handled fine. There you go, Freedom Family. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from the rule of thumb and, of course, the KYC Nold Edition. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts, your insights, your suggestions, violent reactions in the comment section below. Let me know because I will be reading. If you learned something on today's episode, drop a like. And if you want to get updated on the current or latest episodes from Freedom, subscribe to our channel. Once again, guys, my name is Nold and you are watching KYC Notified out. Hi, have you checked out our Freedom Forums? If not, well, you should, because you will find me there alongside free channel assets like audios, banners, thumbnails, and a lot more. If you want to hang out with me or with our Freedom staff members, visit our Discord page. See you there.